This is Andy Peroff, Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I'm joined by Avril Maffi here in Miami. Avril, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Obviously, it's nice to hear that you're doing well as well. Now, obviously, you're of Australian descent, so just talk to me about how you actually ended up in Miami. So, I lived my whole life in Australia and uh, about four years ago, I was boxing as an amateur in Australia for a few years and I decided I want to give this boxing thing a proper crack. I'm good at it and I know I can, I can have a go at this, but you can't, boxing is not a viable career in Australia. Like even our best male boxers have other jobs. So, but it is in America. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to just like jump on a plane and see what's up. And uh, I was modeling and I got an amazing opportunity to come here for modeling that helped me get in the country. And uh, so I had another bunch of amateur fights here in America and then turned pro. How difficult a decision was it to leave Australia to come to America after leaving behind your family and friends and coming out here on your own effectively? Not difficult. <laughs> um, I got kicked out of home when I was 15, so I've been, and don't look at me with sadness, I've had the best life ever, to be honest. And uh, I love my parents, I talk to them all the time, um, but uh, I've always been really independent and I've always fended for myself and just gone after whatever the hell I want to do, so I'm comfortable. I'm going to pick that back up there, I'll have to apologise for the light on my battery ran out, so very unprofessional but I apologise. But obviously we mentioned you, we were talking about your route to America and how you're finding your time out here and leaving behind Australia and just to pick that back up there, what was that like? Uh, yeah, so it was pretty easy to make the move. Um, I got kicked out of home when I was 15, so, and don't get me wrong, I love my family and we talk and everything's happy and I had the best life ever in that process, but I've always been very independent and but had a very strong belief in myself, more than a normal person really should have, I guess. <laughs> but uh, it's worked for me so far, and if there's anything I want to do, I just get up and go for it. And I'm, I'm good at making friends, so of course I, I wish all my friends could be with me everywhere, but I make new ones, and I always have a great time everywhere, so I'm, I'm okay with it. Now, obviously, you mentioned you was also, I don't know if I was saying, you was also, or you still are a model. How do you kind of balance modeling and boxing? Uh, it's pretty easy really like I just don't book shoots in the lead up to fights like you know a week or two or if I have a black eye or something then I'll let people know <laughs> but uh, typically I, I mean I move my head really good you know so I don't get too damaged too often and uh, actually I feel like the two help the other I book a lot of modeling jobs because I'm a boxer um, and you know it keeps me in shape for, for shoots and stuff so yeah, they fit together surprisingly well. I mean, what do you prefer? Do you, you know, if you had the opportunity, would you like to go just full-time concentrate on modelling or full-time concentrate on boxing? What would be your preference if you had the opportunity to choose? Well, I, I've had and have both those opportunities and I've chosen boxing, so... So there's no more modelling uh, lined up? I mean, I still model here and there, like, you know, but I'm, I'm a full-time boxer. Well, ahead of Thursday, what exactly should everybody expect from yourself with regards to your style and how exactly you're going to be looking to impress everyone? Of course. What are we here for? <laughs> this is the biggest show in Miami in decades, maybe ever. Um, of course, I'll be, you know, putting my best foot forward and putting on a show. Um, my style is I move a lot. I move my head. I'm in and out. I'm, I'm always the tall girl. So I play that game, I think, very well. And uh, But I'm looking to work on my mid-range and inside game a little um, in this fight as well. I know I've got a much shorter opponent and uh, she swings those big punches and uh, yeah, she she likes to counter and come in. So I'll, uh, I'll be looking to, you know, all the things I've been working on in training camp, put them into practice and pull off a really good victory. You know, you've got um, Amanda Serrano also on the card. I heard you mention Katie Taylor in a previous interview. In Amanda's case, what's it going to be like for you to be on the same card as her, somebody who's seven-time world champion? What's it going to be like for yourself? Yeah, wow, incredible. Like, what a talent and what she's achieved in boxing is amazing. She's an incredible fighter, incredible talent. I can't wait to watch her fight. I've actually watched a lot of her fights and uh, she she goes at it. She's she's great to watch. So to be on the same card as her, like, wow. But I mean, this this whole card, like, it's like boxing royalty on one card. It's incredible. So. And finally, before I do let you go, obviously, there's a fight which has caused some divided opinion amongst the boxing hardcore. There's two YouTubers on the show, Anise and Gibb and Jake Paul. What's your thoughts on seeing YouTubers entering the boxing ring? 
I just think do whatever excites you in life and have a crack. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Avril, I appreciate your time. What would, what would be your final message to everyone ahead of Thursday night? Let's go. <laughs> Avril, Avril, thank you for speaking to myself and Boxing Social. Thank you.